Well, we're in the Crucible once again for the start of this year's World Snooker Championships. And what an interesting tournament it looks to be. I could let that music go on forever, but this time I can't because, well, we'll be here absolutely all day. Hello there, folks, and welcome to this week's Retro Sunday. Today, we play our first snooker title of the Retro Sunday series. How very exciting. Today, I've plumped for a game which I have actually never played before. World Championship Snooker 2003. And unfortunately... This week, we haven't got the iPad, it's on charge, that usually gives us all our info, so I've got to go down to the phone. But, it's a sports video game, obviously developed by Blade Interactive and published for co by Codemasters. For the PS2, which we are playing today, Xbox and the PC Windows system was released for the PS2 and Xbox in Europe on the 27th of June, 2003. In comparison to earlier titles, the game was not only snooker specific and allowed players to play 8 and 9 ball pull, we won't bother with that today. Um, and the game was also released with a version specifically designed to play in English pubs and bars. The game involved commentary from both Dennis Taylor and, for the first time, John Virgo JV. He also lends his name to the unlockable trick shot mode, similar to the one displayed on Big Break. So if we can, I will be have a look at that trick shot mode a little bit later on. But let's get into some snooker, shall we? Now, I've played 2002, I've played 2004, I've gone into 2005 for maybe an hour... But for some reason, 2003 is one that's often gone under the carpet for me. I have not played this one um, much. On the front cover, we've got Peter Ebden, Ronnie O'Sullivan, Stephen Hendry. And on the bottom, John Higgins, Willow and Ken Doherty. Of course, Mark Williams was the world champion of 2003. Challenge all the stars of World Snook as you battle it out through 10 international arenas and multiple game modes. The most comprehensive snooker simulation ever. Challenge over 70 players, TV style presentation, incredible realistic graphics, build a global reputation in career mode, the most important selling points of the game, featuring JV's Chick Trick Shot Challenge, play a quick challenge in fun games, take on up to 15 players in tournament mode, and then there's an extensive unlock reward system. So, let's uh, play a match. We can play an individual tournament, uh, which I quite like that. I mean, yeah, there's. Uh, wow, you can play with 16 of you. That would be uh, entertaining, and that should be something that's on Snooker 19. It's not even on Snooker 19, so that should be something that's on Snooker 19 most definitely. But we're just going to play a normal match today, um, just the one of us, and then play against a CPU. So, location. I don't think we're going to be able to play at the Crucible. It'll be, un it'll be locked, won't it? Oh, it might be uh, unlocked. We might be all right. Uh, we can only play at Plymouth, where the English Open is held, or Shenzhen, where the China Cup is held. So we'll go um, for Plymouth, shall we? Seeds capacity 2,500. Uh, select players. Let's see who we've got here. So we've got Mark Williams. Uh, can we unlock anybody else? Right, there we go. So here's Mark Williams. There he is. Stephen Hendry, number two. Ronnie. Stephen Lee, number four. Goodness me. John Higgins, number five. Peter Ebden, number six. Look at Ebden. <laughs> Not too bad, you know, actually. Not too bad at all. Ken Doherty, number seven. World Championship finalist in 2003. Lost to the world number one. Um, Mr. Mark Williams. David Gray, number nine. Never heard of David Gray. Anthony Hamilton, number ten. Number eleven, Dominic Dale. I mean, a lot of these are just the, the classics on the Snooker 19. They're outside the... Uh, top 32, Mark King, number 12, Marco Fu, 13, Fergal O'Brien, 14, Drew Henry, number 15, 
Michael Judge, 16. Stephen Maguire, pardon me, number 17. Nigel Bond, 18. Gary Wilkinson, Jamie Burnett. We'll just quickly go through these players. Alan Robidoux, goodness me. That's a player I used to play a lot. But the player we're going to play us today, could we honestly play as anybody else, is Dennis Taylor. So we'll play as Dennis Taylor. Our aiming, our aiming aid will play uh, normal. And then who are we going to play against? We'll go with the CPU on medium difficulty. And we will play... Uh, let's play against Stephen Hendry. Why not? Not a player... I don't think I've ever played against Hendry. Obviously on the later games. Um, I've never played him either. I think I've played him maybe on 09 potentially. Ah, can we only... Right, we can only play on um, 21 to 40, can we? So we'll play against Darren Morgan. Uh, yep, happy with that. So, best of three. Picking what table? Green. Huh! Green, green, green. Of course, they're all green. Right, here we go. So let's start. It's going to be very weird here. Dennis commentating himself, much like in... World Snooker 09, when you've got uh, an 05, actually, I think, where Steve Davis is in there, commentating on himself. But it's quite funny, there's a uh, sticker on the top corner. Buy today, 39.99. Where's Virgo? John, hello. So here comes the break-off. Best of three. It has been a long time since I've played a snooker game like this. He could do with playing a safety shot here. There's Dennis. I can hear him now. Uh, can we go to options and put them on subtitles? Yes, subtitles on, please. Commentary volume's got to be on 10. Special effects, 5. Referee, 10. Right. Okay. Luckily, I remember these controls quite well. The one thing I don't remember is how to get this up and down the table. In terms of good power. So, we'll try something like that. Dennis commentating on himself here. Oh, that's way too soft. <laughs> Look at Dennis there. Oh, dear. This is the problem, I think, with the older games. There's just too much of this mucking about with the... Characters. That was a stunning shot. You just forget how quick the new games are. I mean, that's end of break already, isn't it, for Darren? It might take us half an hour just to play the one frame here. I'm going to turn the character animation off because they take half an hour just wandering around the table. So, safety shot here from Darren. Well, there doesn't seem to be an obvious shot here. Hmm. Shame there's no coaching from Dennis. Right, play into that. Need to play it quite hard, though, clearly, to get back up the table. Towards bulk. Oh, we missed John. Oh, great safety play there. There's a potential pot on here. Can we get our first pot with Denny? Denny, Denny. Come on, Dennis. Tricky pot, though. Uh, how do we play with side and that sort of stuff? Forgot now. Ah, there we are. Tricky shot, this. Particularly with the aiming aid we've got on. I think it's there. It is. One. One. <laughs> well, would you look at that? He obviously knew that ball would go, and he's made a great shot to stay at the table. Thank you very much, well, John. Plenty of options here. Well, exactly. 
apply some top spin and just whack this. Don't think we're going to get into the reds, but who knows? Where's the cue ball? Mm, it wasn't too far off. I'm going to put the character animations back on because it just looks weird without. Like I say, this could take a, a whole hour to just do the bloody one frame. Not a bad shot there. Hit the blue, which wasn't ideal, but still. No real safety for Darren. Can't get into these particularly. The graphics are pretty good, though, to be honest, I must admit. That's a very solid safety there. She goes off the edge red. It's only a pain, I think, these character animations during these safety bits of safety play. Certainly better on Snooker 19, though, than it's saying the opponent is thinking... Go on, Dennis. Look at him. <laughs> Them glasses going up and down. Oh, dear. Yes, your shot, Darren. Come on. Would have been great to play at the Crucible, wouldn't it? He's opened up the reds a little. Has he left a potting chance on? He certainly has. Dennis looks up with a grin. It looks like he's going to play a shot to nothing. Hmm. Come on, Den. Try and get on the black. I don't know what the power's going to be like here. It's there. And it's a great shot to get on the black. You should have no trouble pulling this one off. Yeah, black's absolutely fine. Just try and get in behind the red, but it's a little bit tricky. Black should be fine, though. Oh, we've missed the black. Well. Well, well, well. Left nothing easy for Darren here. That one potentially to the bulk pocket might well go. It certainly will. It's whether he chooses to play it. He's going to play this one. The other side of the table. This looks good. And it's there. Oh, I've missed him saying what a pro. Look at him. Look at Dennis. Oh, what's he done there? He's missed the black. Uh, sorry, missed the brown by an absolute mile. Come on, Dennis. Back up you get. That's it. Oh, wow. Well, we started off so well. And now we can't pot anything. I said this would only be the one frame. Imagine this on Snooker 19, you get slaughtered for doing that. Good pot. I keep skipping all the commentary, I apologise for that. Because, of course, the commentary is the main point of the game. He's trying to get the brown in, you see, with the rest. Not a bad shot. Opens up a few reds there. So in a very tight frame, Darren Morgan takes the lead. Oh dear, this is this is dreadful. I forget uh, that Snooker 9 seems so fast-paced. It just feels so slow. It's like going back to the 80s. The reds are nicely spread out now. Thank you, Dennis. But this was a good... Uh, this clearly is a good... It was certainly a good game for the time. I think if you... Take Snooker 19 out of the equation. That's a nice yellow. If we take Snooker 19 out of the equation, it's it doesn't hold up badly at all. It's just because, of course, that game is so fast-paced now to reflect how Snooker's moved on in the 16, 17 years since. Good pot on the red along the cushion. So he goes for the blue here. wonder whether he's going to screw back down the table or what. Dennis just caressing his cue there. There we go. Don't quite want to explain what I thought Dennis might be thinking about doing to the queue. But anyway, this is meant to be a family friendly channel. Don't know how, I don't know how Dennis Taylor turns everything to to complete rudeness. Look at him. He's like John Higgins on Snooker 19. He's just got a grin on his face. 
Oh, what's he done there? Absolutely no idea. Taking the red near the pink spot will lead to good position. Oh, this is tough. I don't think this red will go. Could be wrong. Taking the red near to the pink spot. Well, I don't think anything goes here. Taking the red near the pink spot. Will that one get to the middle pocket? I presume he means that one. It can't be any other. Bloody tricky though, this. Let's see. Oh, good part. Are we on anything though? Oh, there's a mobile phone going off in the crowd. Brilliant. Oh god, these are nasty. Give the yellow a try though. Not nice from here. Oh, we've missed it. Well. Darren Morgan's back in here. This is just like a complete... Well, this is like watching that Dennis Taylor-Steve Davis match, isn't it? It's like uh, watching these two now. Lots of side on that shot. Thanks, Dennis. Take an hour to play a best of three, I think, here. Good shot on the pink. <laughs> Dear. It's just every time they pan to Dennis and he just doesn't his facial expression does not change. Good red. He's put another one on the cushion there, which isn't really ideal. He's only on these two that are close to the corner pocket that uh, he's going for now, but he's nudged that red out and he's well, left himself in a bit of bother here. You can just about see this red. He's a very lucky man. He's potted it. He'll move on to the pink. <laughs> Dennis is doing his air. Good for him. Good old Dennis. Here's the red. Good shot. I need to stop skipping it because I'm skipping all of the... Oh no, he's not caressing his cue again, is he? He's not, he's not doing the uh, violin on it. Da, 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 da. God, strange man. Pink's there. 28. 28. The referee used to be so boring on these games. It's unbelievable. I think we'll take for granted what we've got now, I think, after watching this. But, oh, Oh, he's potted the yellow. Well... Oh dear, cannoned off the yellow. And he's potted it. So we've got a chance. 43 left on the table. 35 ahead is Darren. This isn't easy. This is not easy, particularly as somebody who hasn't played the game for years. Well, say years, I haven't played this one, but I haven't played the old aiming aid stuff for quite a while now. Oh, good shot. He'd have to go the long way around for position here. Not necessarily. Pop the black and then just uh, play up the play towards the bulk pocket. Come on, black. Well done, Dent. One more red, and then onto the colours. Absolutely. So this is a tricky the shot, but tighten the jaws. That's going to make the shot tricky. Has to be careful that the cue ball doesn't end up hitting the knuckle here. Oh, this is tight. Just got to hope for a bit of fortune. Oh, it's there. Great shot. There's a good angle on the green from here. It certainly does. Don't want to screw back too much, but equally want to get a decent angle on the yellow. Come on, let's win the frame. Oh, well, unbelievable. It's a poor shot all around there, but luckily we've not left too much on. We've screwed that back way too much. 
But of course, Darren just needs the yellow. And it's there. Good shot. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to do the classic. We're going to do the classic. We're going to listen to that classic commentary line. We all love it. If you've never heard it, it's a classic. Hopefully it's the same as it is on 04. But it'll probably clear up here. Test of his ability, and he passed with flying colours there. The pace is just far too slow. I mean, why do we have to have shots like this? Where they're panning across the crowd. I mean, sure, it's nice seeing walking around the table, but I'd rather have it like it is now. Oh, good shot on the brown. Nine. Five. <laughs> oh, God, what's he doing now? Dennis just looks like a... Well, I don't know what Dennis looks like. But it looks like a pillock anyway. Good shot on the blue. Just pink and black. Good pot. Oh, hello. Getting out of the way of Dennis's eye line there. And he'll pop the black. I don't quite think we'll hear that commentary line because we haven't been able to concede. Pots the black. Good shot. There was quite a large score difference in the end. <laughs> what? What did you say, John? What? <laughs> okay, frame to Darren Morgan. That's um, well, that's all the frames we're going to play here, because uh, it could take quite a while to do all of them. But uh, we'll probably concede that. Uh, in fact, let's concede the match and let's see what uh, these guys have got to say. Anything? He's let this frame slip away. Hey! Yes, he's had enough. Yes, he's had enough. There we go. Oh dear. Yes, he's had enough. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, he's bright. Twenty-eight for Darren Morgan. Let's see if we can play a few trick shots before we call an end on today's retro Sunday. Very much a more chilled one. There we go, new highest break record, excellent. Yeah, we'll, ju we'll just call him Dennis Taylor. I'll put that down to Dennis. Get the memory card saved. This is on the PS2, by the way. It is actually on the PS2, not an emulator or anything like that. The game for the PS2, got it for 50p in CEX. As I did get the rest for 50p in CEX. Very reasonable. So, let's go back. Can we get any trick shots? New character. Yeah, that's fine. Whatever, whatever, whatever. I am left-handed, so I'll change that. Oh, ambidextrous. No, we're not that fancy. But apart from that, we'll just continue. Yes, whatever. Hit the first red in the twin chains to pot the black in the bottom left pocket and the pink into the bottom right pocket. Make sure you don't pot any other coloured balls. Okay, let's see how it's done then, John. Loads of power here, and strike the ball near centre. I'd agree with that. <laughs> oh dear, let's see how it's done then. Is that going to be dead? Oh, it's John! It's John! Look at him! It's John! They made a character for John, and I'll tell you what, it does not look too bad at all. It really doesn't. John Virgo in a snooker game. Love it. Okay, then. Let's see how it goes. Way! Done it. Excellent. Right, next trick shot. The mighty red. By hitting the red, you should be able to pot the black into the side pocket and the pink into the end pocket. See how it's done then, John. Plenty of power, but play it natural. John would agree with that. Is 
isn't quite so simple as the last one. Thank you, John. Didn't need to hit it with that much power, I don't think. Just play it natural, apparently. Oh, dear. We'll try again. Well, we've potted the pink. It's a disaster. Oh dear. Right, let's watch John again, shall we? By hitting the red, you. Okay, so you've got to hit the red. At what angle? Ah, You're right. Dead okay. right about that. Got to hit it to the left, then, haven't you? Just about getting the angles right here. Imagine having a trick shot demonstration from John Virgo, eh? So to the left, about there. Go on, black's there. And so's the pink. Excellent. We'll do one more. I could play this all day. Pot the black into the side pocket without potting any of the reds or the cue ball. A strong shot with stun. I think you're right there. <laughs> they can't stun a cue ball as good as me. That's what John would say. Right, we'll just try and hit this simple first off. There we go. I think that we've done it. Excellent. Nice and easy. Right, we'll play one more. Should have just made this video John's trick shot, shouldn't we? Pot the pink into the corner pocket without potting the black or... Okay. Aim for the right-hand side of the pink. I wouldn't really argue this was a trick shot. Good shot, John. He very rarely gets these right first time. Not really, as I say, it's not really a trick shot here. There we go. Good pot. Alright, one more. One more, please. One more. Right, select trick shot. Last one, the wall jump. Oh, God. Jump the cue ball over the wall without moving any of the balls in the wall and pot the black. Okay. Lots of power and bottom. Okay. Let's see it done then, John. Oh, what a shot. Classic Virgo, eh? Right. Lots of power. Plenty of bottom. Way! Oh! That's a shame. Wait, oh, I, no. Oh. John just did it so perfectly, didn't he? Good old Virgo. Oh, way, we potted the black and potted the blue. Right, we need a lot of power on it. Just need to persevere, I think. Oh, for Christ's sake, we didn't play with any bottom that time. Come on. Hey, there we go. Brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. That's all we're going to do today because I could be here quite literally all day. But if you enjoyed that, make sure to leave a like down below. Um, I will be doing more snooker games in the future on Retro Sundays, but I'm trying to uh, rotate things around. Obviously, we had a Wii game a few weeks ago. We had an Xbox 360 game last week and a PS2 game this week. Much like any other episode, um, if you wish to request any videos for Retro Sunday, please... Let me know down in the comments. If I haven't got the game, I can get an emulator for it. Or equally, if it's cheap, I can go about getting uh, the game to show you guys. But if you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like. There's a full playlist of about 35 Retro Sunday videos. So 
if any of those tickle your fancy, make sure to go and watch those in the Retro Sunday plays. But apart from that, remember during these times of hardship in the world, remember to keep taking care, staying safe, because that is the most important thing. Anyway, until the next time, Championship League's back tomorrow, folks. Snooker's back tomorrow, as well as horse racing. Hmm, tricky decision. Right, anyway, until the next time, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye for now.